Well, those is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. I hope you are having a good afternoon staying warm. Kind of cold outside. I was trying to do a video outside. My phone shut off, so we we'll have to do that video there. So what's this video? It's about MREs. Individual MRE. That. Low sodium. I got these off Tom Ritter. Go check out his channel. I did a trade with him. I traded like three or four nights. I don't remember now, but I think three at most. For these, and we'll dig into this and see what it is. Step into it. Okay, what I forgot right now is my water. So we'll be back for it. First, let's see what we got. These have not been open. I've already eaten one of these. That was alright. It's kind of take two on this video. It's the reason I've eaten one of these already. Vegetable lasagna. That's what we're eating. That comes with... Here, let me show you here. Comes in a cardboard box just like that. Vegetable lasagna. So we'll get that out of the box. We'll show it here in a second. Comes with crackers. I don't know if I'm going to eat all of this or not. Let me put my knife right up here. There we go. We've got this to here part. That's what this is. We've got, I don't know what the hell this is. Toasters, pastry, frosted, brown sugar. No idea. We might just find out. I'm kind of curious. The other one had, um, well, those are the pastries. I forgot what they're called. I still got them. I've got strawberry jam, probably for the crackers, and grape jelly. There's no bread in here so far. Tootsie Row. I get it, my girlfriend. I'm not a big Tootsie Row fan. Uh, it does come with salt, a napkin, and one of those spoons. That's what's in here. Extra probably pepper and salt or moist salad. We'll get into it, and I'll tell you what it is there in a minute. How this works, and we'll open this up. We're going to open it up now. So I'm going to get my water. Bring it in here with me. Holy smokes, that means this come out. There we go. This is what it looks like. So, what we got now is you're supposed to, don't overfill it, it's supposed to fill it up to these lines right here, right in between them. Let me get it on video, my phone here. So like that. If there's tear here, then tear there. Well, not sure what the upper part is, but you can just tear it like this. Let me do it on my phone, mind you. Not my lap. You guys can't see my lap. You just tear it open. And I am having to tear it now. But that's what they make knives for. So, oh, here we go. I think I got it. Dog's barking at something. She says hi, I guess. I think I heard a voice, so somebody's in here. What you do is once you get the water in there, you put it in here, keeping the heaters at the bottom. Actually, you put this in here first, just like this. And then you put the water in. Turn off the first one. That's the that video didn't turn out to it. Now you're supposed to be able to fold this over. So what we might do is we'll go ahead and shove it in there because it does say shove it in there. And I'll try to keep my phone better if I do it down there. You shove it in here and then you roll this down. I'll get back to you guys. I'll get you more down here. That way I can show you better what I'm talking about instead of doing it like this. I'll be back. Alright, so we're going to hold this like this. Hold these above the line. I got to unscrew my cap here. 
And with that overflowing, there's another way to cook these. If you're here, it doesn't work, and we'll find out here in a minute. Not really. He should it. Okay, cool. So I shove everything back inside there. So without overfilling it. Let me look at the direction of the game. Where did I say part of the bag go inside there? So we just do it from the back. And we'll just make sure we don't fail. Shove this inside there. We're supposed to do it according to them. Fold that over. And there we go. I'm going to put a little bit of water. I can't see where the lines are at. Let me get my glasses. These MRs are a little bit different from ones I'm, I'm used to using here. All right, we're not quite up to the line yet, so I'm just going to do this. Get some light in here. So I'll go over it a little bit. I'm just going to go with it. Now they say incline on a rock. Well, I don't have a rock in here, so we're going to do this. Boy. Over the best we can, and then we'll let it incline just like that. And if this doesn't heat up, I'll show you a different way of doing this, and I'll get back with you guys as soon as it's done. Because what it's supposed to do is supposed to be a chemical reaction. Now, I did kind of overfill, so we'll find out. All right, folks, so it's been sitting like this for a few minutes. They set it back in the box and everything shoved in there like I got it. And I don't know. I've got this repaired. I got water here. And a coffee can in case I have to boil it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. But we're going to take everything out. We may not need to. I did kind of overfill it. I hope that don't matter. Been there for a while. Oh, this says after 10 to 15 minutes. So I might be being impatient here. Oh, it was warm. Mm -hmm. I was extra sure how much time it took me to get the stuff together. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm alright. I don't feel like waiting 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in water. So I don't want this to be a long video. Pick that more in the middle here. And plus it shows you a different way of doing this. Okay, more still place. There we go, that'll work. As long as I'm gonna do is just stick it in there. Now I'm probably still gonna have to wait a little bit, but this is another way of doing it. That's almost submerged in the water like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'll get back with you guys. So let's say if your heater doesn't work, and this probably worked this fine. It does take 10 to 15 minutes. I didn't read down that far when I was reading it. But you can stick your package inside water there. And it's gonna take a minute. The water's laying hot yet. You're actually supposed to stick it right in hot water. We'll take it off there once it starts to boil. Or at least act like it's going to boil. So let's see what's inside here. Get my knife. Put my pocket here. Yeah, I was trying to do a video. I got some stuff off team you. Know, I was trying to do a video outside about one of the things I got. Well, as y'all probably know that do YouTube outside. 
our phones or cameras don't like cold weather. And sometimes they overheat. Oh, this is some kind of seasoning. Hold on a minute. The only thing I didn't see inside this one was moist towelettes. I had for one of those moist towels, and I say towelettes because that's what it said. The last time I opened up, where I screwed up the video, that was my own fault. That's a salt free seasoning, is what this is. Hope you guys can see that. It's starting to turn dark outside. I only got a lamp here I'm working with. Salt free seasoning. My finger is kind of light, so hold on a minute. There we go. And then you have pepper. So we'll get both those seasonings to try. Um, a heavy duty plastic spoon. This one's not as heavy duty as the last one I had. I've eaten them already before and I've seen heavier duty plastic spoons. So I'll last you for a minute. This one's not too bad though. And this is a napkin. Um, we'll be trying this stuff. I just had eggs and sausage in my brunch and it wasn't that big of a, I didn't have that many eggs. So I am actually kind of hungry, so I'm looking forward to eating this. Sort of. I'll get back to you guys. Alright, in case you guys are wondering about the alcohol stove. It's the old Pathfinder alcohol stove. They compacted it to more. I guess there was complaints that this wasn't that compact. I've not had any issues with that. I don't. This can last. If you guys go back to the video, I compared alcohol stoves. This was the longest lasting alcohol stove. I better have this, it's gonna last longer. And when I put my alcohol stove here it is heat. The yellow bottle, make sure you use the yellow bottle, because the red bottle you're gonna get black stuff all over the place. It doesn't burn as clean. This here is a blue flame. It's burning for your clean. Are still kinda of wet in here. I haven't seen a couple bubbles. It's getting there. I don't want to overboard, I'm in my girlfriend's craft room. I won't have to be cleaning up no messes up in our craft room. But anyways, that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm just using a coffee can. That's something I improvised in. My pots and pans were actually inside this. I call it the bush craft room, but it's a she shed. She had a bed in her where we could sleep in or I could camp in. We weren't doing it, so she decided I'd make a good place to for me to make videos when it's not too cold out. Right now it's cold outside. My phone doesn't like the cold. I'm going to call this good. When I get back, I'm going to get off the stove. The only thing I'm doing is use a pot holder and glove. That's all I'm doing. Well, here. Let's go ahead and do it. Couldn't find another glove. I'm sure it's in there. I just didn't feel like digging. And I didn't want to use the towel. I didn't want to get a towel inside the flame there. I right, did that once this morning. Wasn't one of hers, though. Something over here. I don't know if you guys can see there and that's how blue that is. I think you can. The only thing I'm gonna do here, and this is definitely this is this is a gerber. I don't mind their men or gerber. I've used them both before. Not bad. I know plenty of people that are into leather men. Let's just take this off here. Depends on what's going on right there. They're not really. There we go. And just to pan it out, again, don't use your lid. You guys see this sill in here? I'm sure you can. That's getting kind of dark. There's a black sill in here. Yeah, nope. Anyways, there's a black sill in there. You don't want to ruin that by sticking over a flame. This here, you can control your flame if you want. You can twist it. That's what that's for. I'm not sure I'm doing a good job of showing this. Oh yeah, here we go. See? But I don't even use that for that. I just use it snuff out. There's no seals in here, no nothing. You don't have to worry about melting nothing. And there you go. That will snuff out that flame. And I still have plenty of that in there. 
I'll fit more in there here in a minute. But it didn't go down that far. I did that half the thing. This thing almost went on, I think, two hours. Go back in my videos, you'll see where I compare that cost those. I'm not sure why I tired. I think I tired it compared to that cost those. Now, one of the things I can do is I can flip this if I want. I'm not going to. This is almost submerged inside that water. Actually, it is now. now I'm going to let that set for a few minutes. Like, I'm just going to set. The reason I got the flat size propped that up on like you're supposed to was so we can see what it looks like as well. There's no meat in this. It's supposed to be a vegetarian thing. Tom said it was good. Tom Ritter. And he's a meteor, so we'll see. I'm going to set that on top there. Let it do its thing. And I'll get back with you guys. Alright, we're going to take it out of there. I meant to grab a towel, but we're not going to go back in there and grab a towel. We're just going to do this. My multi tool here. I'm gonna burn my fingers. And there we go. That should be at least warm. I'm not reading a real hot MRE to be quite honest with you. They've always been lukewarm. one might be more than a quorum. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and cut my knife. There's a place where you can tear at. Quite honestly, it's just easier to grab your knife. Oops, that's a wire place. Yo. I'm going to tell you this takes off my knife. ain't bad. There we go. What does it look like? Normally you can just eat these out of packages. We want to see what it looks like, so let's get it out of here. Try to get it out of here anyways. I'll get back to you guys. There we go. Alright. Trying to show you guys what this looks like. That's what it looks like. Don't look too bad. I'm gonna try a thousand seasoning. Here's what we're gonna do. And then we'll put the seasoning on if I think it needs it. Hmm. Not bad. It's got beans in it. I thought that was be the first. I'm like, what the heck? That's beans. Alright. I'm going to put this on here. See what it tastes like. Comes out. I'm going to try it without the pepper. There we go. Alright, so let's try this again. It wasn't bad the first time. It is lukewarm. It could have stayed in that water a little bit longer. That's about what I got out of those heaters too, is lukewarm. Hmm. Not bad. Here's a little hand damn neck in here. This is pepper. Yep, pepper. Pepper on it. Definitely season. I'm not going to say it's the best meal in the world. If you were hungry, it would do. Now, this is a little sodium. If I take another bite of this, let's talk about sodium. If it's high sodium, if you're not an active person, you probably don't want to eat high salt content. But when you're outdoors, especially during the summertime, you're sweating. I've been out in deserts. I've been out in the heat. High sodium won't because you're sweating. So the high sodium won't bother you. If 
You're basically putting back on your body what you lose when you're sweating. Hmm, not bad. Not bad, but nothing right home about. Not no wow. It's not no wow thing. And so we won't start with that thing, having this. I mean, yes, you can hunt. You can do things like that. And I'm not against hunting. I need to actually get into it. Um, But sometimes where they're supposed to be game, even the mountain men back in the day had food on them. Or the settlers that were coming in on their wagon trains and whatnot had food. Yes, they hunted. But the game wasn't always there. That's so why you were afraid you have food. So in this case, if I went hunting to see something, take a fish on a hunt with me, I'm not catching nothing. Nothing's in my side of my gun, then here we are. I won't start it if necessary. So I'll, I'm going to pause this and eat this, and we'll get into the rest of the stuff. All right. Well, let's see what the crackers look like. They're supposed to be able to rip from here. We'll see. That didn't happen. So again, make sure you have a knife. For the outside, you should have a knife. That's how I'm cutting it. Knife right there. Come up with a knife cut? Yep. Alright, is it going to be smashed or is it going to come out hollow? I don't know how to open it here. Oh, this doesn't look bad. So we do have crackers. I'm trying to get them out of there and crush them. There we go. Looks like crackers. Alright, put that there. Now I'll try one without the jelly. They don't exactly break like crackers though. Ah, yeah, I didn't break like cracker. Definitely could use some gel. So we'll try the grape jelly. I love how some of these things say tear here and they don't want to tear there. So we'll go ahead. Hmm. And do it just like that. So the way this is going to open up, I should just be able to use my spoon. That's the third thing here didn't work properly. All right, well, grab my knife. Oh, that's tear here didn't work. Oops. Oh, that's paint. We're going to end this squeeze it out. I'm not having much luck getting this tear like I thought I was going to. Actually, there we go. Now I can take my spoon. And if you guys are hearing dog, hey, girlfriend's got a daughter that lives downstairs. And we have a St. Bernard that's Fred Stairs. Craziest thing. I never heard of a dog Fred Stairs. Apparently, she's not going to St. Bernard. Now that is. Rory has some liquid to it. This is what it looks like. I'm going to try to show you guys here. That's what it looks like. Probably a tip it. Hmm. Not bad. Kind of liquidy. I mean, this is what it looks like on my spoon. Whoops. What it looks like on my spoon. It's got a little bit of liquid in it. And it's, you brass the saw while it's dripping. Let's try it by itself. Alright, definitely not nothing to write home about. 
And she just stuck peanut butter in there. I'll get back with you guys. Now I still got some cracker left. And now we're trying the strawberry jelly. That's what it looks like. And it opened up much easier than the grape jelly did. So let me, let me get it on a spoon here and we'll try it by itself without the cracker. Hopefully it'll taste a little bit better than the grape jelly did. Hmm. Yeah, that's better. Actually, I'm a big fan of strawberry jelly. This ain't bad. All right, cool. Ain't bad. Okay, I'll get back with you. I just want to be on here where I tried the strawberry jelly. It ain't bad at all. And we'll try this. These are like Pop-Tarts. That's what I was trying to think of a minute ago. His came with regular Pop-Tarts. This is where this spray will be in Marty Pop-Tart. We'll find out. Alright, I wanted to show you something. This one was unopened. The last one I ate that I messed it up so bad I didn't post it. Came with pop tarts, but it wasn't here. But look what I'm about to pull out of here. This one's unopened. Pop tarts. Exactly what they say it is on here is exactly what it is. Brown sugar, brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. Um, let's see. Yeah, this says tastery, taster pastry frosted brown sugar. Uh, make sure you guys see this. It's on there somewhere. Well, oh. never really see it. Where are my fingers at? There we go. But anyways, so we're basically what a pop tart tastes like. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Oops! I just saw a crumb come off it. It off me. You should just stick these in a the toaster. I guess you have fire. As long as you weren't stealth camping, you can do it over fire too, but. Hmm? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and eat this. This don't taste bad, it's Pop-Tart. And I'll get back with you guys. Alright, like I said, it's nothing to write home about. But it's not bad either, at least this one wasn't. Now, it just depends on the MRs. I have eaten MRs and thought, ugh, I was hungry and ate it. I thought, this ain't bad. This one wasn't bad. The one I tried before that one wasn't too bad either. Now, I did kind of mess up a few things, so that won't be a deal. This one will. As you can see, I ate everything. I just gotta wash that dish. What are these bags good for? Trash. Or if you have leftovers. Sometimes the MREs, you can't eat everything. In this case, I was about half starved, so I ate everything. Everything but the tissue row. I guess it's my girlfriend. She can have the tissue row. But, anyways, you guys pretty much know what to do this at the end of the video. Go ahead and subscribe to me. For those that are, I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Another thing we can do is. Hit that thumbs up. I think I meant to say that first. Then subscribe. And hit the notification bell. That way we can stay notified. And also drop me a comment. I do enjoy appreciate the comments. So I learn off of each other. And also. Let's share the video out. That way we can keep up when they're in the comment section. Other than that my friends. 
I'm out of here. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.